Hey everybody, Ed Holmwood, Old Guy Hi-Fi Channel. I hope everyone's doing well today. Keeping in the vintage theme that I've been in my last couple of reviews, I thought I would do a quick review of these Wharfdale Diamond 8.3s. Now these are circa early 2000s, same vintage as that Harman amp I just recently did. Uh, and they lived with that Harman amp with the original owners and I bought them uh, about six years ago or so, uh, secondhand. And they still live together today, the Harman amp and these, at my son Zach's apartment downtown Chicago. This is a magnificent little speaker. It is so sweet and so nice sounding. It images beautifully. It's very full range. It's warm. Um, I wouldn't call it lush, but it is just smooth and sweet. Great top end, maybe a little light on the bass. They, they're rated down to 40 hertz, and I think on the hot top end, 22,000. Um, but just a beautiful speaker and very well made, too. It is a six and a half inch Kevlar woofer with an inverted butyl rubber surround, which gives it good excursion, has a phase plug in it, and a beautiful one inch silk dome tweeter. And it is, of course, a ported design. They're mini monitor, they're maybe only, I don't know, 36 inches tall at the most. But boy, they can put out some sound. Uh, and they are, I have yet to find something they don't sound good on. That's really the amazing thing. I've hooked them up to little inexpensive, fun fi Chinese uh, Class D amplifiers, you know, the $60, $70 ones. And they sounded okay on those. And they'll scale up amazingly well. I've had them on my vintage Marantz. I had them on that uh, vintage Kenwood, which I did the review on. I've had them on... The, I ran them on that AccuPhase I just did a review on. Right now, they're on uh, Orchard Audio Star Crimson Ultra Amp, $4,000 amp, a Shit Freya preamp, a Gashelli J2 socketed DAC, and the Cambridge MXN 10 streamer as a source. And these things scale up. They sound magnificent. One of the things that I really look forward or look for in a, in a speaker in the sound that I'm after is the big sound. Not in your face, but the sound, you can't, the sound, the speaker sounds bigger than it is. You know, it fills the space really, really well. And these do a great job of that, even though they're kind of diminutive in their size. So that's kind of a cool thing. And they're, again, they're just delicate and sweet and very detailed. Um, you know, they, they can make a bad record, recording sound good, but they can also make a good recording sound great. Um, they have no, no sins. There's no sins there. This is, if you ask me to define the classic British sound, it would be a Wharfdale speaker uh, in general. This one's certainly, you know, the Diamond series through the 2000s up until whatever the current series is, um, the 12, 10s and 12s, beautiful for, especially for the money. It's huge values. So th this is the classic British sound. It's not BMW and it's not Kef anymore. Um, those sound that they have changed their sound and not to my taste. But anyway, so these things scale up, they sound great. They do everything I ask them to do. You would want to pair them with a subwoofer because they, they, they are not real bass heavy at all. The good bass, fast attack, but not a lot of deep bass. So yeah, good little subwoofer. This is a great combination. And they, they were not expensive. I've seen them on eBay for a couple hundred bucks a pair, but I think that was a local pickup deal and I don't know where they were to go pick them up. I would be tempted if it was local. <laughs> but anyway, so that's the uh, Wharfdale Diamond 8.3. Great speaker. If you have a chance to hear some, wonderful. If you need a second pair of speakers for a small room, they're marvelous. Uh, actually, the eight Diamond 8 series is really good overall. They made a great center channel too. But anyway, so that's that. If you liked the video, I'd appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up. I would also appreciate your subscription. 80% of you guys watching my videos aren't subscribed, and it would really help the channel if you did. Um, and if you don't like what I'm doing, you can always take your subscription back. There's, you're under no obligation, and no salesman will call. So anyway, give me a like, a subscribe. Also, please comment. I love your comments. As any of you have commented, no, I read them all. I respond to them. Um, you know, I just, I love the sharing. I like and I'm, I don't want to sound like an egomaniac, but I like kind of the fact that we're sort of putting together a little bit of a community here of like-minded individuals who are, you know, love the music, kind of love the gear, but the music really is the most important thing. And to that end, share with me in your comments if you have a Tidal Cobuzz or Spotify playlist that you don't mind me sharing with the community, and I'll do that on the community page. Also, too, in the bottom of the description uh, of the video is our playlist from Spotify, Tidal, and Cobuzz, and I'd love to get your opinion on those. Also, disclosure in the description is our affiliate links. If you were to purchase something, I make a tiny commission, but it doesn't affect your price or your ability to return a product you weren't satisfied with. 
So that's the lowdown on the Wharfdale Diamond 8.3s. Really, really wonderful little speaker. And I'm going to go back to listen to him after I'm done shooting this video. Thank you so very much for your time. I really, really appreciate it. It is so kind of you to, to spend some time with me and listen to my inane ramblings. Um, I'm having a lot of fun doing this, and I hope I'm bringing some joy to you as well. So please like, subscribe to all the social media stuff. Follow me on Instagram. I do do that some stuff on Instagram. And uh, my only message for you is stop doing what you're doing and go listen to some music. That's the most important thing. This is Ed Holm with the Old Guy Hi-Fi Channel signing off and saying thank you so very much.